Hello everyone this is Tavat Times. In this video, I will share my top 7 claymores for Eula, including a 3 star claymore, that it might be one of the best options for the free to play players. And because I am not pulling for Eula, but my wife will, I will let my wife do the guide, only, for this video. Ok fuck off, it's my turn now. Hello everyone, since I am pulling for my queen, it's my honor to do this guide, I hope you enjoy it. But before we start, disclaimer, this is my personal list, so anything in it is my opinion alone, so I don't want to see any of you shitheads commenting like this, Mr. YouTuber this list is so wrong oh my god you suck at this game go to hell please yes and now, after we made that so clear, let's back to the video. Now let's start with number 7. Serpent Spine, one of the best 4 stars claymore in the game, but why it's at number 7, well of course that means there's a better options, because the low base attack on the weapon, and the passive is not that bad, but you need 20 seconds to get the passive at full stacks, then you need to not take any damage or you will lose 1 stack, and that's not a good thing for Eula. Now, number 6, the Black Cliff Slasher, same goes for this claymore, low base attack and the passive is not that bad, but also you need to kill some enemies to get to full stacks, and I hate these kind of weapons, but both Serpent Spine and Black Cliff Slasher, have creep rate and creep damage, which is really helpful if you lack these stats. As for number 5, we have two claymores here, and both are craftable weapons, the Prototype Archaic, and the Snow Tomb Star Silver. Well why these weapons at number 5? Because the good base attack plus the attack percentage under the prototype archaic, which is really good for high base attack characters like Eula, and the physical damage on the snow tombed star silver, which is also very good for Eula. But that's not it, the passive on these weapons are super good for Eula, because they also scale with Eula physical and attack damage, so you might see a very big numbers like 30k damage or even more. Now, 4, number 4, no bun intended, the Skyward Pride, with very high base attack and energy recharge on the secondary stat, plus the passive which is also scale with Eula's attack damage and physical damage, makes this weapon a very good choice for Eula. Number 3, the Unforged, with good base attack, and attack percentage secondary stat, and really good passive that increase my shield strength, and my attack percentage, the Unforged deserve the third place. Now before number 2, I will do one honorable mention, which is the 3 star claymore, the Skyrider Great Sword, with low base attack, and insanely high physical damage, as its secondary stats, and a very good passive that can increase your attack by 40% at refine rank 5. This 3 star claymore, could beat some of the 4 star weapons in the overall damage output, but we have to wait and see some tests, so don't miss on that. And now for number 2, the Wolf's Gravestone, one of the, if not the best claymore in the whole game, with good base attack, and insanely high attack percentage, on both its secondary stats and passive, which is super good for Eula, since she got a very high base attack, plus she scales very well with attack percentage. And last but not least, number 1, the Song of Broken Pines, her signature weapon, this weapon as the data mine shows, will have the highest base attack in the entire game, with 741 base attack at level 90, and somehow low secondary stats with 20% physical damage, and passive that increase your attack percentage, and your attack speed. If this claymore comes out with this stats, this claymore can be easily the best claymore in the whole game. Thank you everybody for watching, I hope you liked my short guides on Genshin Impact characters. If you have any questions or requests, please leave a comment with anything in your head, and don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe if you liked my content. Goodbye everyone.